came up with the word vegan back in 1944. Um, Donald died in 2005 at the age of 95 years old. Hey guys, how are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? So um, today I am going to talk to you guys about something. This is just a short impromptu video. Not going to stay long. All right. Um, but I'm going to talk to you guys about something today. So um, I travel a bit. Right. And I meet a lot of people. And, um, you know, I talk to people about health and, and so on and so forth. Right. And um, the people that I meet, obviously, it comes in all walks of life. Right. Um, I meet a lot of vegan folks people who refer to themselves as vegan, right? Um, and the one thing that I notice that these vegans have in common um, is obesity. Obesity, yes. Almost every vegan that I meet, that I come across, that I come in contact with, are overweight, extremely overweight. Um, obese and you know I have to ask myself wh why why that's what we have to ask ourselves um, so this video today is addressing pretty much anyone but specifically the vegan community right the idea of veganism right most people don't understand what that actually mean what veganism really mean who came up with the term why they came up with the term vegan right so back when mr watson came up with the word vegan right he took the word from the word vegetarian so he took the first part of the word uh, from the word uh, vegetarian, which is V-E-G, right? And then at the very last part of the word vegetarian, he took those two letters. So he took the letters from the beginning of the word vegetarian and the end of the word vegetarian. And so that's where the word vegan was, was formed, right? V-E-G-A-N. And uh, his idea of the word vegan came about because he himself um, was vegetarian and he didn't want to eat meat. But at that time, back in 
you know, 1940s, right? He realized that a lot of people who call themselves vegetarian was also consuming dairy and eggs, right? They were um, still consuming some form of animal uh, product. And um, he was against that. So he came up with the word vegan. So his, um, what he wanted, right, was for people to eat, to consume natural plant foods. Just everything that comes from plant, right? No substitute, no process anything, just fresh plant foods. Everything that comes directly from the earth, um, just cook it, prepare it, and consume it. That was his idea, right? Um, now, we don't really use the word veganism back home in the Caribbean. Um, when I was growing up, the words that we have for vegan is ITAL, right? I-T-A-L, right? And a lot of Rastafarian live a uh, ITAL lifestyle, right? They, um, they live a, a, an ITAL lifestyle lifestyle and um idol is pretty much another word for vegan um but when we were growing up we've never i've never heard of the word vegan okay i think that's just a term that is used here i guess in the west in the united states um but that's not a word that we use back home in the caribbean um so for us the word idol simply mean the consumption of fresh plant foods. That's it. Fresh plant foods, right? Nothing processed, nothing that is made somewhere in a factory, nothing that is, you know, put together and processed and put in a box or put frozen in a freezer somewhere. None of that stuff. Just everything fresh plant foods or if if you don't have it fresh in your backyard you can go buy it from the supermarket but it has to be real plant foods and you are preparing it from scratch right that's what um the idea of idol is right so where am i going with this most people who call themselves vegan don't understand what veganism is most people who are vegan eats nothing but processed food a lot of processed carbohydrates right and so they gain weight you know they stop eating meat for whatever reason right because they think okay well the meat is bad so let me just not eat meat but then you go straight to eating stuff that tastes like meat you try to maintain the taste of meat somehow so you go about finding things that are manipulated somehow processed somehow into tasting like meat right a lot of um processed vegan food and so you are gaining weight right that's why a lot of vegan people gain all this weight because you guys are eating all of this processed vegan stuff, everything processed, nothing fresh. Like there's no fresh plant foods. Like everything is just processed. You're eating vegan patties and vegan burgers and vegan bread and vegan, you know, hot dog and vegan this and vegan that. And everything is processed. There's nothing freshly cooked every day you know what i mean and if it, even if it is freshly cooked it's still from some type of processed stuff and so that's why you guys are gaining weight right number one and number two a lot of late and i've seen a lot of the vegans are women i've run into a lot of vegan guys but they work out okay a lot of the brothers that i meet who are vegans with not really a lot but the brothers that I meet who are vegans, they work out. They're in shape. The women, however, for some reason, they're vegan, but they're overweight. They don't work out, number one. They don't work out. Um, they don't believe in cleansing. I've talked to so many vegans, right, who say, and I'm talking about women and men, both men and women. I've talked to them, and 
one of the things that I hear from these people is, oh, they, we don't have to cleanse because we're vegan. Huh? You don't have to cleanse because you're vegan, but you're overweight and you're coming to me with hypertension. You're coming to me with high blood sugar. You have illnesses that you're dealing with. You're overweight, but you're telling me that you don't have to cleanse your system because you're vegan and you're eating all this. Um, you're not having meat. So here is your problem. You're sick and you're a vegan. You're consuming all this processed food. It's all process, right? And so you're gaining weight, your blood pressure is going up, your blood sugar is going up, right? So you have to cleanse the system. You have to cleanse the system. You see what I mean? So, you know, so the problem with vegans is that they're consuming all this processed foods. They're not exercising and they're not cleansing the system, right? You're consuming a whole bunch of vegan pasta meal, vegan meal that has bread in it, a vegan meal that has a bunch of patties in it. All of this stuff is made from flour, yeah. There's no meat in your meal, but when I look at your plate, everything is made with flour. It's a whole bunch of processed carbohydrate, right? Um, a lot of this stuff is made with, from flour, right? Um, and so you're gaining the weight, you're not working out, you're not cleansing the system. And so here we have in 2023, a whole bunch of vegans walking around that are obese, that are struggling with obesity. You see what I mean? Um, yes, we know the meat is compromised, right? We know that. Um, but if you're going to call yourself a vegan, you need to understand what vegan means, what the idea of veganism is, right? It is to consume fresh plant foods, right? The fresh plant foods has a lot of liquid, a lot of water. Natural plant foods have water. If you juice, say, a cucumber, there's a lot of juice in the cucumber. If you juice some sweet potatoes, there's a lot of juice in sweet potatoes, right? Any type of plant foods that you could think of, a zucchini or whatever, right? A pumpkin, all of those things contains natural liquid inside of them. You throw them in a juicer, you see water coming out. You see some type of liquid coming out of these foods. The body is made up of almost 80% water, right? So the cells, the organs, the like everything in your body depend on water, right? So the foods you're eating supposed to contain water, liquid. So the cells and the blood and everything inside your body can flourish and they can get all the nutrients from these foods, not processed vegan food okay not processed vegan food processed carbohydrate processed stuff just because you're not eating meat doesn't mean you're healthy trust me i have consulted with so many vegans that are struggling with hypertension that are struggling with autoimmune disease struggling with all type of thyroid problem why because you're consuming a lot and lots of vegan processed foods, okay? So this is just a little video to the vegan community. <laughs> I'm not hating on y'all, I'm just saying, right? I am not a vegan, I'm not a vegan. Don't really like meat, don't mess with the meat. I don't consider myself a vegan because this word is just, it, it's been thrown around and it's just too much for me, okay? If I don't eat meat, it's just because I simply don't eat meat. But I also do not eat processed food. I don't go around eating all these fake vegan foods. No, my food comes from fresh plants, right? Fresh plant foods. You see know what I mean? Plant foods. I wh Wherever the farmer's markets are, I find them. And I grab my fresh plant foods. 
Okay, in the winter time, I go to the supermarket, I find what I can, you know what I mean? I can fr I freeze what I can freeze from the fresh produce aisle, and that's where I go, and that's how I eat my food. That's the food that I eat, the plant foods, the foods that nourishes the, the cells and the organs and the blood, that type of food, food that comes directly from plants, and you prepare them on your stove, you prepare them in your oven, you saute them, you make soups out of them, whatever, right? But that's the type of foods that you're supposed to eat if you call yourself a vegan, okay? And that's what's going to get you to lose the weight by eliminating all of that processed vegan food, start cleansing the body, right? And start, go to the gym, start walking, you know what I mean? I've uh, run into a lot of vegans and, you know, they don't like to cleanse for some reason. I don't know why. And they're also struggling with a lot of illnesses. So if you're watching this video and you're a vegan, you, you need to cleanse your system. You need to cleanse, okay? I was born and raised on a farm, right? Where my family and I ate nothing but the fresh plant foods that grows on that farm. And we still cleanse. Because even if you're eating a lot of fruits, you're consuming, there's a lot of sugar in fruits. So you need to get some of that stuff out of the system every now and then, right? There has to be balance. There has to be balance. So yeah, we know fruits are healthy, right? But again, there's a lot of fructose in fruits, you know, natural fructose, right? It's, it's sugar. So, you know, if you're eating a lot of that stuff after a while, you got to cleanse the system, man. You got, you got to clean up the system. OK, especially also if you're eating uh, plant foods that have starch like sweet potatoes. Sweet potato is nice. You know what I mean? But after all, it's still st it's starch. Right. Yucca is starch. Right. So, you know, you have to maintain balance. Even if you're eating those things, you still want to do some cleanse to clean up the digestive system. Make sure the colon is clean and healthy. And, you know, so you want to flush the system out. Right. Um there is a three-day cleanse. There's a three-day cleanse. And there is a seven-day cleanse, right? So if you're home on the weekend, you have a busy schedule during the week and you don't have time to cleanse, um, you're home on a Friday, you're not going back to work on Sunday, I mean, uh, um, um, on Monday, right? You can do a cleanse over the weekend, okay? Take a weekend off from your partying or whatever you do and just do a three-day cleanse starting on Friday when you get home from work. Just start the cleanse on a Friday and you'll be done by Monday. You see what I mean? Um, there's a seven-day cleanse. If you have time to do a cleanse on, um, for seven days, there's a seven-day cleanse for that. Okay, and I'm going to put the link down um, this video when I'm done, all right, um, to those cleanse. For those of you who don't want to do the long cleanse, we do have cleanse that are 21 days. Uh, we have cleanse that are longer than that, right? Um, but if you have a hectic lifestyle and you don't want to do a long cleanse, flush the system out. And for, for the love of God, for the love of God, Planet Fitness is $10 a month. Ten, 10 bucks, go there, give them $10 and just go to the gym. 30 to 45 minutes of walking on the treadmill. You don't even have to do a lot. Just go walking on the treadmill, right? Just walking. I hit the gym five, six days a week, right? I do a lot of walking. You know, if it's nice outside, I'll go running outside. You know, I'm, I've been running for years. You know what I mean? So I, I split my exercise between running and walking, you know, my cardio, right? Sometimes I go to the elliptical, uh, elliptical machine. I have an elliptical in my in, in my house, right? And I also go to the gym. I use the elliptical. I do a lot of weightlifting. I do, I do all type of exercise. I'm always active, always doing something in the gym, I lift weights, I do all the all the stuff that the guys do. I'm there, you know, y'all see me doing the push-ups, all of that stuff, right? You gotta stay active, right? If you're eating a lot of processed food, especially you guys, and you're overweight, you gotta stay active. You cannot call yourself a vegan and be sitting around being obese. That's just, it's not a good example for the lifestyle that you claim to be living. Let me say that again. It's not a good example 
for the lifestyle that you're claiming to be living. You cannot be vegan and be overweight. And, you know, I, 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 there's a lot of people that follow me on Instagram. Well, not a lot, you know, just a few people that follow me on Instagram. And I follow some people on Instagram. And a lot of the people that I follow on Instagram are vegan and they're overweight. And I'm, I don't understand it. Some people follow me, they're vegan, and they're overweight. So, you know, change your lifestyle, guys. Change it. I'm not telling you to go eat meat. But what I'm saying to you is you have to change this whole vegan thing if it's not working out for you. If you're vegan and you're overweight, you're obese, and again, here's the deal. Stop being in denial, okay? If you're a woman, you're 5'5", five, 5'8", five, five, okay? And you're over 200 pounds, you're obese. You're overweight, okay? Y'all y'all live get mad at me all you all you want, okay? Get mad at me all you want. If you're a woman below 6 foot and you're over 200 pounds, you are obese. You're overweight, okay? Let's accept it. All right? Get in there, exercise, stop with all the madness, okay? Let's be honest with ourselves. Self-reflection, okay? Self-awareness. That's the one thing a lot of us don't have is self-awareness. We have to be honest with ourselves here, okay? Vegan, over 200 pounds, not happening. Not happening. No, you got to get rid of it, all right? Love you guys. By the way, um, so before I go... Um, we will be doing the Proverbs 31st presentation next Sunday, okay? So that'll be on the 16th. I think today is the 9th. Today is Sunday, um, April 9th, right? So a week from now on a Sunday, um, I will be doing the presentation for the Proverbs 31st, right? Um, so for everyone that I have been um, communicating with through email, um, just look make sure you're paying attention to your email because I will be reaching out to you. I will be emailing you just to give you a reminder. And when um, that day come, I will be sending you the link. Okay. So, um, yes, yeah, so just check your email periodically because I will be following up with you guys um, just to remind you because I know everyone is busy and we all have stuff going on. And so um, if you check your email, you will see my little reminders there just to remind you but, uh, from Today, moving forward, I'll be reminding you guys that next Sunday, we will be having the Proverbs 31st um, presentation, right? So I hope you guys had a wonderful feast. You know, everybody was busy doing their feast and we, so we, we couldn't, we weren't able to do the, the, the presentation, right? So hopefully by now, you guys are finished with your feast and so now we can get into that presentation, okay? So yeah, um, next Sunday, is a presentation. I will be reaching out to you guys. I'll be emailing you. Watch out for my email. All right. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.